Shame about Cliff Richard. What about him? What? <laughs> what about Cliff Richard? You're trying to be funny. Um, uh... Because if you are, I think it's in pretty poor taste, that's all. I'm not a fridge, you know. <laughs> I'd better get back to the lentil casserole before I get disorientated. <laughs> <laughs> At least it'll soon be over for you lentils. There's some dinner on the floor if you want it. <laughs> if you don't like that, it'd also be cool, because, I mean, I only spent all day cooking it, right? And, like, I was the one who got it together to put the lentils on to soak last night, but maybe we should just get a cat, right, and give it to the cat, because it's obvious none of you can be but Guys, <laughs> maybe it'd be cool if I just died, right? <laughs> Well, what, Rick? Have you decided to apologise for what you said about Cliff Richard? I didn't say anything about Cliff Richard, Rick. I wasn't even... Look, I don't want to discuss it, it OK? I, I wouldn't even discuss the colour of orange juice with you, Neil. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I've written a poem and I think perhaps it might help you. <laughs> it's orange, Rick. And look, I don't want to depress you or anything, but like you're standing in a huge mound of lentil cancer. <laughs> oh, Cliff! Sometimes it must be difficult not to feel as if you really are a cliff when fascists keep trying to push you over it. Are they the lemmings or are you cliff? Or are you cliff? <laughs> That was really pretty bad, Rick. Bad for society when the kids start to get into it. I'm going to kill myself now. Pretty angry stuff, right? Let them try and ignore that, right? Those clever trousers in the army and the police and the government, if they can. I see things much more clearly now. Bye, Rick. Yes, goodbye. I'll probably come back as a lentil. I might even get put in prison and have water dripped on my head. I might even get a personal message from Cliff. Oh, well, this is the end, man. Doesn't anybody ever suss out cleaning this oven except me? <laughs> oh, well, th this is so dirty, man. Uncool. I bet you could look inside all the dirty ovens in the world, right? And you can, even the ones at the bottom of swamps and you wouldn't find one as dirty as this, right? <laughs> Neil! Why don't you listen to me, Neil? Why don't you listen to me? Do you, do you find me boring or something? Look, look, that's a saucer. That's boring. Look. <laughs> Pretty different, really, isn't it? It's not really the same thing at all, is it, Neil? Neil! I will not be associated with saucers. Hi, guys. 6.15, enter Mike, the cool person, for his dinner. Stalls across the floor. Hi, Neil, he says, looking good and already warming up. Is that supper? No, oh, no, that's supper over there. <laughs> Why are you smashing up saucers, Rick? You'll prince on them. I know just how you feel, man, you think? Sometimes saucers used to make me pretty angry, too. 
Yeah, there's a lot of heads buried at the bottom of the garden because of a saucer in the works. I suppose you think it's pretty weird, don't you, Mike? Well, you'd be right. Because that's the kind of guy I am, right? Weird. Which, which is why I go over people's heads. A bit like an aeroplane. <laughs> you think I'm an aeroplane, don't you, Mike? Well, I'm not. I don't think you're an aeroplane, Rick. Sycophant! <laughs> I really think we ought to get it together, maybe to eat something, no? Huh? Eating any good books lately? No, no, don't! The best I can manage these days is to stuff down a few pages of The Guardian before I rush out. I managed to nibble away at a few lines of Hippolytus the other day at number 32. Oh, lucky you! Euripides is my dream poet. Mm -hmm. A woman is only a woman. I to call out is a meal. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> oh, this should raise a dry smile, then. Knock, knock. Oh, how wonderful! Who's there? Euripides. Euripides who? Euripides trousers. Humanities trousers. Medea. <laughs> oh, a rat! Wow, Rick, man, that's really heavy, man. My grandfather made that guitar entirely out of matchsticks on his deathbed. the meal got a bit uncool, like floor-wise, but it's all right, because I've probably got the dirtiest bit. <laughs> OK, guys, don't do anything unusual. Did a guy with a lisp phone? Uh, no one phoned you, Mike. Well, we haven't got a telephone. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but did a guy with a lisp phone? No, he, he didn't. Did he say anything about the bananas? <laughs> uh, no. I thought you said he didn't phone! He didn't! <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. But he could have been very fair. Anyway, forget you ever even heard the name. Uh, what name? Hey, hey, you're learning, that's good. I've got an uncle called Dustin. Neil, are these lentils South African? Well, uh, <laughs> You bastard! You completed utter bastard! <laughs> Why don't you just go out and become a policeman? Become a policeman! <laughs> You know, ow, ow, ow. There's no difference, you know. You think there is, but there isn't. I suppose you hate gay people too. Him, he. Listen, listen, just don't bring me down again, all right, Rick? Okay, where's my bivo? Where is my bivo? Yeah, here, here's mine. This is my bivo. Well, I just saw it lying on your desk. I thought you didn't want it anymore. But look at it, it's half empty. Well, it was just lying there, Rick. What's a guy supposed to think? Neil. What are you doing, Neil? To make a meal, Neil. <laughs> so, Neil. From totalitarian vegetables. How much does it cost, Neil? Well, actually, it's about uh, four pounds fifty each. Four pounds fifty? <laughs> I'm not paying you money to eat black men. I can become a pig and do that for free. <laughs> right off, Neil. When I eat a meal worth four pounds fifty, I'm not paying for it. You got me. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, right, like house meeting, okay? Yeah, okay. Like, like, I know four pounds fifty is right a hell of a lot of bread to lay out just for a lentil casserole, but I did a lot, right? And it struck me that like considering what I'm gonna do tonight, I should do like thirteen portions. Thirty? What are you doing starting a football team? No, no, killing myself. Killing myself. This is my last supper, right? I've finished building my gallows and it's totally far out. You should see it, Rick. Like, when the trap door opens and I, like, die, it lights joysticks and plays rock around the clock. It's totally amazing. <laughs> oh, far out! Really great! Woodstock! <laughs> Supper, man, yeah. Vivian, you might have washed your hand. I've been down the morgue. Oh, fine, yeah, great. Let's talk about death. I mean, don't consider my feelings tonight or anything, will you? Cutting up bodies for my course, you know. 
None of you ever give the slightest consideration to a word I say. That's because you're very boring. <laughs> oh, and I suppose you think ideas like peace and freedom and equality are boring too. Yes, they are. Ah, fallen into my trap. In that case, why isn't Cliff Richard boring clever trousers? <laughs> Tell me that. <laughs> Okay, lads, um, right, this is it, okay? I'm going now. This is the final moment, okay? Right. I've got a leg. I mean, Bibi, and that's not unusual. No, no, look. I'm supposed to write an essay on it, right? But I think I'm just going to stick it on the bonnet of my car. <laughs> Bye, then. Okay, Bibi, okay, go back, go previous. Now, the Scotch egg's another story. There's a nice angle on the wall, straight through it. I like your style. Certainly had me fall. That's only part of the puzzle. Most days you come through the door. Sometimes you even open it. <laughs> the day you didn't, the day you suddenly changed your routine. Why, eh? You in trouble, Rip? Huh? Are you the final sausage in the fridge? And is someone coming after you with a piece of cling film? No. <laughs> we got a letter from the council. Look, nobody's fed my own Strudley. Um. Look, I'll, I'll see you on the other side, okay, lads? This is really it. I'm going, okay? Yeah, yeah, see you now. Yeah, bye, Neil. <laughs> yeah, and um, you can forget about the bread, okay, man? Hey, listen, it's just like going to sleep, okay? But I'm an insomniac, Mike. So what are you worried about? <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Mike. Bye. Look, nobody's been special patrol group, have they? Listen, Bill, this letter. You saw it wasn't a packing case? Or maybe a tea chest with Zurich stamped on it? No, a letter! I think Special Patrol Group is a stupid name for a hamster. <laughs> OK, I'll change it then. Hello, Cliff Richard. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, Vivian. You know I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> I really think you ought to feed that hamster more often. Look, I don't want to spoil him, OK? He looks like Tesco's when the beans are reduced. Program. What's Paul about him? Well, it'll take ten weeks to start another one. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. Well, let's put the wind up by a third. <laughs> well, I really screwed that up, didn't I? I should think I'd look pretty stupid if anyone was watching. <laughs> oh, look at that. Should have had a shorter rope. Could have done with being a bit shorter. What that lad needs is a good hard. <laughs> I never knew there was so much in it. <laughs> This house is going to collapse. <laughs> and like there's my doom bay and my passport collection. We got a letter from the council. Yeah, what letter? Clarity, <laughs> baby, elucidate. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, Mike, my little Thunderbird puppet. Thunderbirds are go, yeah? Come on, let's twist again. Like we did last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's twist again. Like we didn't do in Moscow, because I've never been there, of course. You know, I am an English person. Hi, I am Jesse, yeah? Crazy, wacky landlord. You know, I like very much your English punk rock stars, you know? Your Lulu, your Dave Clark vibe. Oh, yes. I think they are FAB. That's English for stupid, yeah? OK, fantastic. Hey, Mikey, look. Here, I have some Coca-Cola, yes? We have party, yes? OK, let's Let's dance, let's do the fall, yes? You know, I am liking very much your Harold Macmillan. Thanks to him, I am never having it, yes. Mr. Malofsky, we have residence rights, you know. You're supposed to knock. <laughs> Listen, don't you think it's a nice house here? It's good house, it's clean house, Michael Caine and Twiggy, yes. So maybe sometime you would like to pay me some rent. Then we go down the milk bar for soda pop. You shovel, yes? Listen, Jersey. <laughs> Jeremy, actually. <laughs> Jeremy, listen, if you're worried about the rent, I've got that sussed. <laughs> 
Gentlemen, house meeting in the old two seconds. Be there. Hey, I think you are a nice, good, democratic boy, yes? I hope when you marry a two Scottish person like Lulu, yes? Because I'm also Scottish, you know. I'm not really foreign, you know. I just do it to appear more sophisticated. <laughs> Nobody'd buy Evian water if it was called Blackburn water, would they? <laughs> Nobody'd wear kicker boots if they were made in Scunthorpe. <laughs> Abba, Abba, Swedish. I knew them when they were a Lancashire clog dancing trio. <laughs> Arthur, Betty, Boris and Angela. <laughs> Solzhenitsyn, Solzhenitsyn, a former pipe fitter welder from Allegates. <laughs> Back to the acting. <laughs> OK, oh. Jersey. Yes? About the rent. Yes. Oh, I nearly forgot. These two men wanted to see you. Two men, more common wise, yes. <laughs> Funny comedians with the wigs and the buckets of water, no, yes. No, 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 no. They said they were with the Moscow Dynamos, ice hockey squad, eh? I told them I never heard of you. Said I'd never seen you before. <laughs> OK, yes. I say it's good, it's good joke, yes. It's, it's earthy English humour, yes. Like seaside postcard from Leicester, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we'll forget about the rent. We'll pay you another time. Is that cool? Yes, that's absolutely icebox, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. Do you think he really is British? Well, he knows a lot about the Mersey sound. Shut up! I'm trying to stir my coffee. No, oh, listen. We got a letter from the council. They're gonna demolish the house tomorrow. <laughs> going to turn it into an entertainment complex. This room's a roller disco. Hey, I'm depressed. There's nine below zero. He's blummin' right, you know. <laughs> Can they, i.e. the council, destroy the house of Mike? Listen, Michael, there's no need to worry. I've got a plan with which to thwart them. <laughs> I've got no sugar. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, a wet bum. Just a far out. Hey, hey, now we're in the same supermarket and we're not buying peas. Look! You're agreed the council must be thwarted, right? Hey, does this face empty knickers? That I don't know. <laughs> but when the council come to demolish the house tomorrow, Michael, they're gonna find it already demolished from within. <laughs> okay, step back, recoil, go previous. 
I want to study the angles, and hey, I'm not talking about fishing. Give me the letter. The letter, yeah. With pleasure. Snows never cease. They seem to reach back forever. They began the night Uncle Volga died. On the night we heard the shoot. If only we were dead. <laughs> Do you remember when this very room was filled with light and laughter and young people? How we laughed. <laughs> Ah, ah. <laughs> e, e. <laughs> of the food which are theirs, who have we just forgotten? It was sort of crunchy. <laughs> the woods and the darkness and the howling wind. Will the snouts never cease? They seem to reach back forever. Could you be quiet, please? I'm trying to watch my favorite program. <laughs> Will you stop it, Vivian? Listen, if we don't smash the house up, the cows are going to demolish it tomorrow. He's right, you know. They're going to knock the house down tomorrow. That's all very well. But finally, after years of stagnation, the TV people have woken up to the need for locally based minority programs. Made by amateurs, and perhaps of interest to only two or three people. It's important, right? It's now, and I want to watch. <laughs> nice one, Vivian. Well, that's no reason to hassle me on the toilet. I'm still gonna knock the house down. And now let's shake some action here on two with a new program for young adults. Nose in, around. <laughs> Hi, my name's Baz, and me and my mates thought the TV just wasn't now, right? I expect, like us, you're not into all that stuff your old man's into, right? So, we just thought we'd have a programme for us, right? And this is it, nosing around, yeah, N-O-Z, Z for that. It's a programme for young adults, made by young adults, and concentrating on all the subjects that young adults are interested in, like unemployment. Maggie! Hey! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Really great! And now I'm going to be looking at what it's like to be a young unemployed adult, because more young adults are becoming unemployed on account of the fact that they can't find work. Basically, <laughs> the problem is this. If you haven't got a job, then you're out. to them. 
But surely, Bears, your mates must realize that there definitely is a point. So, a real message of hope and good cheer there from Roland, a really ace guy. Drop in and see him for a chat at the poly. But uh, that doesn't mean I want you to seduce my parrot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, if you're on the dole, go and see Roll. Oh, I should stress that you do have to have a degree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. OK, thanks a lot there, Roll. But now it's the part of the programme where you, yeah, you, the viewers, get a chance to put your ideas and opinions. New concept, right? Our world too. So, here we go with Street Level. I'm 16, I'm old enough to marry enough children, but I can't drink in pubs. When will the government wake up and realise that young adults are mature and responsible people? I'm 16, right? I can join the army, the air force and the navy, but I can't drink in pubs. <laughs> when will the government, right, realise that young adults have a valid contribution to give to society? <laughs> a lot of people say that young adults are violent, right? But how would you feel if you were old enough to have intercourse with a partner of your choice, and yet you could not drink in pubs? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the problem. What do you do of an evening if you're a young adult and can't go drinking in pubs? Now, what I think is that if the kids are united, we will never be divided. <laughs> Council are going to knock the house down tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. So you keep saying, but they'll never do it. This is a student residence, a seat of learning. The council have okayed it, babes, okay? Oh, right on. Right on. <laughs> Typical. Human beings are the last consideration. Take a street, any street, an English street, filled with life and hope and poetry. Not the old street, just us. It says we're a health hazard. But I live in the laundrette! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's OK. It's OK. Because... Because the letter is signed T. Smith Miss. See? Do you see T. Yes, Smith Miss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even believe it's perfume. Dust off the duvet, lads. I'll handle this. I'll handle this. <laughs> I'll handle this! I can't handle this. <laughs> when they come, I'm going to hide in the wall cavity and pretend to be thermal insulation. <laughs> and then when they knock the wall down, Boom, Shanker. some lentils and seaweed as a sort of uh, last positive action. Hey, Rick, man, what are you doing with my crucifix, man? Fantastic. Yeah, look, I really think I should lay this one on you, man. That's a really negative way to kill yourself, you know? Like, I've tried it hundreds of times. There's no way you can hammer in the last nail. Excuse me. Are you the least man to this premises? Oh, uh, uh, I'm being hassled in the street by a chick. <laughs> Stop making him paranoid, you slag! <laughs> 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 
Maybe just once I'd like to keep the lentils off the floor. <laughs> so who turns on your bulb in the wee small hours? I'm sorry? If the world's an egg, Border Collie, this kid's the lion stamped on the side. Thank you. Now, what I really need is your rent book. You know the French for duvet? I'm talking about 100% cotton. Mm. I'd like to find your duck down stuck to the soap. Uh, that's enough. Now, what I really Open want... now, surgery? Feel my scalpel. You ever done it on a beanbag? Baby, I do it inside beanbags. All right. No! Don't worry, lads! These bastards aren't gonna away with this! Come on, man. You'd be doing me a favor. I'm fine, Tom! Wow, I really hope we don't have a crash. <laughs> me too. But they say it's safer than crossing the road. Yes, but we have to do that too. Best not to think about it. 